Good afternoon, and welcome to so, uh, let me try that one again. Good, <laughs> good afternoon, welcome to episode that's the word 575. And this is wrapping up the year part two. Part two, what are you grateful for? Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about, and then I'll tie it together with part one. Yeah, yeah. My name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily chat. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for a long time now, I'm doing these daily chats called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. That's why we're at episode number 575 today. And this is part two of a series I didn't know I was creating um, called Wrapping Up the Year. And this 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 is part two, which is What Are You Grateful For? Now... If you didn't watch yesterday's broadcast, that was the initiating talk, which is now called part one. It wasn't part one before, which is what are you willing to release? Or what are you releasing was the theme for yesterday. So today is step two. So basically, if you're following along, what I seem to be creating here on the fly is a series of steps to complete the year in a nice way. So part one was what are you willing to release? And I talked about that in great detail. So I'll let you go look at that one if you want to, which is episode number 574. So you can watch that one. Hi, Sue. Um, and this is Facebook Live, by the way, in case you're wondering who I'm talking to, because if you're watching on YouTube, you're going, who's he talking to? Um, because I'm on Facebook Live first, there are comments popping up and I respond to them when I see them. I just go away from somebody. So you will see this on YouTube as well as on, on uh, my Facebook page, business page, as well as on my podcast, but I'll tell you about all of that at the end. So today's reflection of the year is about gratitude. And it's something we often forget to do. Now, some of us do it really well. Some of us don't. And I'm not saying which one I'm in, (laughs) which camp I'm in. I know I could do better. I'll say that much. In fact, I was reflecting on that as I was having a shower earlier today and just being grateful for the nice hot water that was making me feel so much more invigorated and alive. But I realized that I could do it for other things too, not just the shower when I have that once in a while. Um, But I am very clear about so much I'm grateful for this year. Just right now in front of me, this phone and microphone and all the other pieces of the puzzle, including the lights I bought, that allow me to do these Facebook Lives when it's even darker. I'm grateful for all of that because it's technology that works to make this easier for me. So I'm grateful for that benefit. Yes, I had to pay money for that, but the reality is what I got from it, I'm very value, I'm very grateful for because the value goes beyond what I invested because these lights I've already had for a couple of months now, I think, and the value has been more than paid off, so to speak. So I'm grateful for that. I'm also grateful for those people who interact with me in my Facebook Lives and also have reached out for support beyond those Facebook Lives because they value what I share. And that for me is very rewarding because it means I'm not doing this for nothing. Well, I'm I'm not anyway, but in fact, other people are benefiting from this besides myself because just to be selfish, I'm doing these for me as well because it reminds me what I already know in a way that I can reflect back on as I share this. But also I get to practice speaking in a more fluid way which is actually what I talked about yesterday, about where I'm heading next year. So you have to watch this broadcast for that one. So gratitude, it's a powerful tool that clears out a lot of the junk. Yesterday I talked about releasing and letting go, which clears out a lot of stuff too. But being grateful is like um, releasing any attachment to things that might be holding you back. Because what happens with gratitude is it's a sign off. It's a completion. It's a... um, It's a method that can help you become more comfortable because when you are grateful for things that happened, and here's one of the tricks, by the way, tricks, one of the subtleties, by the way, is, well, thank you, Sue. I appreciate you being grateful for me. Thank you. Um, By being grateful for things that aren't that pleasant. So experience that you've had over the year, like I I, I was, I'm trying to example I can pull up. I had, um, I think I've got to think of one that was challenging. Hmm, Interesting. Well, one that comes to mind is my friend's uh, memorial service who passed away very unexpectedly. It was devastating to feel it, but I was grateful to be invited to and participate at the memorial service because what it do- did is it brought us all closer together and I got to really see her through her friends as much as I saw her through, through my own experience of her. So as much as it was painful, I was very grateful for that opportunity to share and connect in a very loving, gentle, and, and playful space, actually, which is her spirit at play anyway. So being grateful for the things that aren't so pretty, so wonderful is a powerful step too. And now this is not just a end of a year thing. I actually did a, I did a recommendation this a while ago about if you were willing to change your life, one of those practices I recommended was a gratitude practice. 
and mechanically it's not that hard. I mean, simply at the end of the day, ideally, um, you put on paper, you write down, and this, this is not the same as yesterday. I did talk about writing on paper yesterday, that's different. But writing in a journal, ideally, something you want to keep, um, gratitude. There's, a, there's a one idea which I didn't talk about, which I saw around online, which is each day you take pieces of paper, you write out things you're grateful for, three, four, five things or more, and you put them in a jar. And every day you, build, you fill up this jar. So by the end of the year, you've got this jar, ideally a fairly big one, that is stashed with things you're grateful for. So at the end of the year, you start taking them out and reading them. And basically what it does, it changes your state dramatically. You may be grateful already, but when you look at 300 plus days worth of that gratitude of four or five things every day, that's 1,400, 1,500 things that you're grateful for all at once. That's a game changer. It will change your life. And I mentioned also as a practice doing this discipline, as I said in my self-love practice, to do this every day for 30 days because the 30 days is like installing a new habit. And in fact, in my self-love meditation practice that I have the, with the guided meditations, in the second one, because there's one in the AM, one in the PM, in the PM meditation, I actually include gratitude in that meditation. That's a good excuse for me to put the link in the comments, just so you know, <laughs> for the self-love practice, because that has gratitude built in as well. So being grateful for life, being grateful for your experiences, being grateful for the body you live in, I'm reflecting on that one because I have been I was on the Body Love Summit that actually is wrapping up this weekend, but it's re-airing next week. If you want to know about that, I'll put the link in the comments for that. Yes, I'm realizing I'm plugging myself away here, but I'm grateful for that. <laughs> but the thing is that we forget to be grateful. And that assumption of life, and that's why I'm really calling it, because when you're not grateful for things that happen in life, including the fact you wake up in the morning, we become assumptive. And that assumption becomes a wearing weight we carry around. So my suggestion, my encouragement is to, and you, have to, you don't have to do this out loud necessarily, although you might want to, but by being grateful for every single thing that happens, like grateful you can brush your teeth, grateful you have teeth to brush, grateful that you have hot water to shower in, like I mentioned earlier, grateful for the bed you slept in, grateful for the food you get to eat. If you start running the litany inside yourself of things you're grateful for, it will change your state dramatically. Now, if you've got challenges in your life where things aren't going great, this is not to negate that. Being grateful for things that are good does not negate the things that are bad or exclude them or pretend they don't exist. Because sometimes people say, gratitude is just too Pollyanna. You're going to be, up, you're going to be carrying on this presumption of things that are going great. Meanwhile, you're, you're going to deal with this massive debt or this, this massive illness or this massive breakup, whatever it is. I'm not saying that one excludes the other. You can still be grateful even in the midst of challenge and, tra and trauma even. But it's a choice. And sometimes for those of us going through challenging moments, challenging times, it's so consuming that we forget to be thankful for the other things that are working well. The fact you can be alive and you know you will go past that trauma, that challenge, that upset, is a damn good reason to be grateful. Things that happen in our lives in a lot of ways for some of us who are on the spiritual path look at things in our lives that happen to us as tests. Tests basically to remind us of how strong our faith in ourselves and our faith in our opportunity to move forward. And gratitude is one of those keys that opens the door. And it sounds so simple to say this, but I recommend, I recommend if you haven't already done it, because most people aren't doing this, so I'm not saying you didn't, but you might not be doing this, is to record your gratitude to make that a priority because by being grateful, by putting a journal or putting a piece of paper in, a, in a, a, a gratitude jar, if you do this every day for say a month, but hey, go for a whole year, you'll be quite amazed at what happens. One, because the thing is I also learned this lesson, which I'm still working on myself, just to be clear, I'm not, I'm not a master of this one, but gratitude tends to open up doors for more good things to be grateful for. There's a spiritual law that the, the, when you're grateful for everything you have, more will be given to you. I haven't seen that practically myself at this point, so I'm just speaking for what I know as theory, and I'm willing to take this on this year as an experience and a practice because I'm saying it here, so I'm basically outing myself to I need to do this for myself too. But by being able to express and share gratitude for everything in my life, I believe from what I've learned, and you may try this on too, that everything that has been said about good things being added to that which you're grateful for, I'm willing to try it out. Why not? So. I'm very clear that I've got room to improve on my own gratitude, and I suspect you might be in the same place I am. So having said that, your homework, 
because I'm going to give you homework as I do it in most of my talks, but particularly because of yesterday and today, my invitation to you as homework is to start writing down things you're grateful for. Now, here's the thing. Because we're at the end of the year, if you haven't already been doing this, my invitation to you is to actually sit down, say tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, if you've got time during the day, or just have time to do it at different intervals, is go through your calendar for the last year. Go through your, presuming you wrote things down, but go through your calendar as a starting point because it will trigger things for you. And if you go through your calendar for the last year, if you haven't done this already, you may see highlights of events you went to, meetings you had, connections you had, um, dinners you went to, social engagements, whatever they were. And also by looking at your calendar, you might be remembering things you didn't write down. But look at all those things that happened over the last, excuse me, 360 days and see where you're grateful for those things. If you haven't done this before, you can do it now. By writing down gratitude now, it's, um, what's we're looking for? It's retroactive. <laughs> and actually, basically, you can go back and be grateful for things that happened six months ago. It's fine. It still works. But then what happens is you start building up that, that gratitude account, so to speak, and you're building up that own fuel for yourself. So my suggestion is by doing that, you've now built a new starting point. So going forward from this place, if you're willing to take this on, is to be grateful every day going forward. And again, it doesn't take much just to write down two or three things a day that you're grateful for at the end of the day before you go to sleep. Even a, even a notepad or a journal by your bed is a good way of doing it. Or keeping, um, having on your phone is a, an app that reminds you to do it. You can actually put a calendar reminder each day, write down gratitude at say 10 p.m. That, that, that work as well. But by doing it, you start training yourself to be grateful and you look for opportunities to be grateful too. And that gratitude mindset is a whole different mindset than you may have been running for the last 12 months. Not saying you didn't, but just suggesting. So my suggest, my suggestion and encouragement is to take on this homework, is to to try it out, because the bottom line is if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and all you've lost is some ink <laughs> from writing things down. But you might might as well try it, because frankly, if it works, what more is available to you when you say yes to the good? When you're grateful for things that happened, you're opening up to more possibilities of goodness and happiness and joy, and things to be grateful for, and that is a powerful place to play. As I mentioned at the beginning, the two things I mentioned, I will put links in the comments because they tie to this topic. Um, there's one thing else I was going to say. What was it? I'll put it this, I'll put it this way simply. This is, uh, this, yeah. this is part two, apparently, of a series that I just started <laughs> yesterday with part one. I don't know if there'll be one tomorrow. There may be just two, maybe a two-part series. It may be more. We'll see. But I just had a hit right after I did that broadcast that I was another piece I was talking about today, which is which is gratitude. So yesterday was about letting go, releasing from the year that just become, just went past, and this is being grateful for the good things that happened during that year as well. There's a third thing brewing, I think. So there should be a part three tomorrow. We'll see. And speaking of which, this is my daily chat. So there'll be another one tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time is the time I usually do this. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, they live on my business page, on YouTube, and on my podcast. I'll give you the links for those as well. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, you'll find them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. You'll find all my broadcasts there without any other, um, with very few other posts. On my personal page, my Facebook lives are interspersed by other social media posts because I'm social. Also, you can find them on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And in there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that and watch all the broadcasts in there. And all 400 and, excuse me, 570, well, plus this one, 575 will be there for you to peruse, select, sort through, and watch. I'm also rolling out my podcast, I've mentioned several times. And my podcast on iTunes is also called Messages from the Masculine, which you can also subscribe to. And in there are the audio versions of my earlier broadcasts, which I'm slowly adding to time, day by day. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, the links I put in the comments may be of assistance to you. Again, the self-love practice I put in there because there is gratitude in that. And also the link to the Body Love Summit because it's replaying next week. And uh, that's about it. Oh, yes, here's the thing. So this is a reminder that if there's anybody who thinks should watch this because they may be forgetting to be grateful, please share it with them. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, etc., please put them below in the comments and I'll respond when I sign off, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube. And uh, as I said, your homework is be grateful. So my invitation to you going forward is be grateful for all the goodness in your life. And if you find gratitude, enjoy and savor the moment. With that, 
I'll see you again tomorrow for probably part three. We'll see, but certainly for episode number 576. So that should be fun. And I look forward to seeing you again then. So please join me tomorrow. And by the way, if you haven't already done so, there's a button somewhere around this video which shows uh, be notified when I go live. If you want to click that, then you'll be notified next time I go live, which will be tomorrow around this time. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. As always, I love seeing my familiar friends and faces in my broadcasts. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.